Welcome aboard the X U.S. Coast Guard Plane Tree, a buoy tender, cutter, and light icebreaker, which is soon to become the RV Martin Vitusim, affectionately known as the Marty. The Atoll Institute is a 501c3 California Public Benefit Corporation. I am the founder and president. My name is Robert Gross, and I invite you to join us on a tour of this mighty little ship. This is the buoy deck and is where channel buoys were repaired. The boom can lift 20 tons. Cargo can be lowered into the two holds and on deck it can stow small yachts or up to four 20-foot containers. The stern or fan deck can be used to tow small ships and can stow a couple of 20-foot containers. Searchlight, main mast, stairway to bridge. Welcome to the bridge. Compact and modern navigation and radio equipment will be installed to make the bridge fully functional for maneuvering, navigation, and voice communications. This stairway leads to the lower decks. This is the former radio room, which will become an internet and video production studio. Ahead is a stairway to the bridge. This is the former chart room, and it will remain just that. Welcome to the captain's stateroom. It has two cabins plus a head. We will now tour the main deck. Welcome to the crew's mess. It can serve up to 18 crew at a time. Forward is a buoy deck entrance. Aft is an office, lounge, and staterooms. This is a ship's office, which has ample desk and counter space for two computer workstations, plus shelving and filing cabinets to store all of the ship's records. To the right, in the center of the main deck, is the emergency diesel generator room. Heading aft. On the left is one of two starboard side double staterooms, with a sink, desk, safe, drawers, and two bunks. This is the former officer's lounge and emergency sick bay operating theater. It will become a science and engineering lab and double as an emergency operating theater at which time the operating lab from the sick bay will be mounted on the ceiling. This is a starboard view forward. We will now exit to port through a small pantry and then head to the aft steering room. Aft steering room. The manuals are kept here and in the log office to starboard. Below is the rudder room and in front of it is the spare parts compartment. It's your rudder post and the rudder system. Here's your rudder. Here's the post coming up. This is a shell of the ship. Here's your shaft. Ultrasonic test revealed that the steel plating meets specifications. The spare parts compartment is fully loaded. Now we will head forward from the aft steering room on the port side corridor. To the left is a private head and shower. To the right again is a small pantry and ahead of it is a stairway up to the fan tail. Next to the stairway is the entrance to the science and engineering lab, formerly the officer's lounge. Ahead is the stairway to the upper decks. To the left is one of three staterooms. This one has a couch, berth, drawers, desk, safe, and sink. The next level up is the fan deck level and captain's stateroom. Above it is the chart room plus IT and video studio, and above them is the bridge. To the left is the sick bay or dispensary. Note the operating lamp in the ceiling. Ahead is the port side buoy deck entrance. To the left is a stairway down to one of the three crew berthing areas. To the right is the galley, with a servery that opens up at mealtime to the crew's mess. To the left is the crew's head, which contains several toilets, sinks, and showers. To the right is a corridor to the crew's mess, and this ends the main deck tour. You are entering one of the three crew berthing areas that will accommodate a total of about 60 crew people and there is also a small crew's lounge. A typical four-person bunk bed unit. Now we will head down into the main hold. A pan of the main hold reveals storage lockers to port and starboard, plus to aft are hardware chests and sanitary holding tanks. This is removable. With the crane, you can remove the deck hatch. 
and then necessarily when you pull this hatch out, then you can load big heavy stuff, your extra valves for other bulky items rather than have to try to manhandle them down there. You can bring them down by the grain. So this is the hole. This is it. This is a cargo hole. There's two. There's another one on the other side of this bulkhead, which is only accessible through a scuttle in the forecastle area. The forward hold is loaded with more spare parts and empty tool chests. Below it is the bow thruster. Now we head to the propulsion equipment. Back on the main deck, past the emergency diesel generator and portable arc welder, is the stairway aft to the propulsion motor room and forward to the engine room. This is the General Electric DC electric propulsion motor, which is attached to the propeller shaft, bearing, and seal. Behind that is the propeller. Welcome to the engine room, upper deck. Two Cooper Bessemer diesel electric propulsion engines. This is the upper engine room and two propulsion engines. On the port side are hydraulic pumps and pressure tanks, the number two Caterpillar AC generator, the hot water boilers, water pressure pumps, plus ancillary equipment. On the starboard side is the number one Caterpillar AC generator and starter batteries for all of the engines. This is a starboard side propulsion engine. Facing forward is the DC electric control panel, which interconnects the two DC propulsion generators to the one DC propulsion motor and propeller. Above the port side DC propulsion engine are the controls and alarms for both of the DC propulsion engines. Finally, we head down to the lower level. This pan of the port side DC propulsion engine and generator now concludes the tour of the Marty.